Have you ever spotted a big cat in your neighborhood? No, not your neighbor's oversized Maine Coon, but a big cat of the wild variety. You might be surprised to find that this is not as unlikely as it sounds. Consider the tale of Mrs. Johnson from Colorado, who woke up one morning to find a mountain lion napping on her porch. Or the story of Mr. Thompson from California, who while out for his routine jog came face to face with a bobcat. And let's not forget the school in Arizona that had to be put on lockdown when a jaguar was spotted prowling the campus grounds. These encounters are not just thrilling tales to tell over dinner, but they highlight a growing trend. More and more people in suburban and even urban areas are reporting sightings of big cats, creatures we normally associate with the wilderness. These instances, while not commonplace, are becoming increasingly frequent due to a combination of factors such as habitat loss, climate change, and the adventurous nature of these magnificent creatures. As we expand our cities and towns, we encroach on their natural habitats, leading them to venture into our neighborhoods driven by curiosity, hunger, or the need for a new territory. But before we panic and start a big cat neighborhood watch, it's important to remember that these animals are not typically a threat to humans, unless provoked or cornered. They are simply trying to survive in a world that is rapidly changing around them. The key takeaway here is that we share our world with a myriad of different creatures, big and small. And as we continue to expand our settlements, we need to find a way to cohabit with these animals. So, the next time you see a suspiciously large cat-like figure prowling your neighborhood, remember the stories of Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Thompson, and the Arizona School. We live in a world where it's possible to find big cats in our neighborhoods, but with understanding, respect, and a little bit of precaution, we can learn to share our spaces with these majestic creatures. Big Cat Sightings UK Over recent months, there's been a spate of big cat sightings in the UK. Anxiety levels of families up and down the country have risen after a number of black wild cats were seen roaming leafy suburbs. But while mums and dads have been petrified for the safety of their offspring, one expert says they've got nothing to worry about. Far from being an invasion of black panthers and blighty, a former zookeeper believes the culprit is a creature that most of us are already pretty familiar with, kind of. Big cat sightings may not be all they seem. Credit, Dragonfly Films. Haley Durand told the star she thinks people have actually been seeing the super rare melanistic fox. She told the outlet that there are over 400 black foxes roaming the streets and countryside. If somebody believes they have seen a big cat more often than not it's going to be a more regular animal, Durand claimed. If they are adamant they have seen a big cat then there's a high chance that it might be a fox instead, that they did see something unusual but it isn't quite what they thought. According to Black Foxes UK, the animal is pretty rare for the UK. However, over the past few years, there's been a rise in melanistic traits in the UK fox population, with more and more of the black foxes being spotted. But Durand also said that other animals have been confused for big cats too not just these rare foxes. Once you point it out to people what it is, foxes, they suddenly see what you're seeing, she said. They're not only foxes, they can be dogs, cats, I believe a few cows get confused. Documentary makers previously claimed to have found the clearest photo of wild big cat in the UK. The image, as shown in the award-winning documentary Panthera Britannia Declassified, showed a large, muscular black panther-like cat lying in long grass in Smallthorne, Staffordshire. It was found in the files of a zoology organization and was marked March 17, but no year was listed. If the photo is real, experts say it is probably the best photo of a British big cat that exists. The image was featured in the documentary, alongside several other potential pieces of evidence supporting the existence of big cats in the British countryside. The picture was unearthed by the assistant director of a center for zoology when he was working in their archives. The photo is unambiguous, it is clearly a large cat of the panthera genus, and it's so clear we can even see its whiskers, he said. But it does state the photo was taken and if it's genuine, then it's the probably the best photo of a British big cat that exists. I can feel those anxiety levels rising again. 
Big cat photographed in UK countryside was a leopard says Carol Baskin. A group of documentary filmmakers are sure that there's a big cat prowling around the British countryside and they reckon it's a panther, but Carol Baskin disagrees. The new documentary Panthera Britannia claims to have photographic evidence of this dark furred feline, which appears to show a large cat lying in the long grass in Staffordshire. As you can probably guess from the title, the documentary makers think the big cat is a panther, and they claim that DNA evidence proves a big cat was behind a slain sheep in Gloucestershire last year. They believe the animal could have been owned by a private individual before the laws around exotic animal ownership changed and a lot of people just abandoned them in the countryside. Not everyone is sure the cat is a panther, however, and Carol Baskin has weighed in on the matter to disagree with the documentary. Carol Baskin appeared on Jeremy Kyle's show to discuss the big cat. Credit, Talk TV. Speaking to Jeremy Kyle on Talk TV, the big cat rescue boss who became famous due to the Netflix documentary Tiger King, said she thought the cat was real and that it wasn't a panther as some had assumed. She said, I think it's very likely that it is a black leopard because I've worked with big cats for the past 40 years and the smartest cats bar none are the leopards and the black leopards just disappear into the landscape. By the time you get your camera up, they're gone. They can be right in front of you and you wouldn't even know they were there. As for concerns that a big cat being out there on the prowl could spell trouble for people's pets, apparently there's not much to worry about on that front because the leopard won't want the hassle. Leopard or panther, what would you say? Credit, Dragonfly Films. I don't think people need to worry about their pets. No leopard wants to get into it with a house cat because they recognize that that's going to be a fight, Baskin explained, while also telling people what they should do if they came across a big scary looking cat out in the countryside. They don't want some yappy little dog because that's more trouble than they need. They have plenty of prey out in the wild they can go after, but if you were to find yourself face to face with a cat, don't run because then you're going to look like prey so you should try to make yourself look as big as possible. In my case, and I wouldn't recommend this to people. But in my case if I have to approach one of our cats I will step towards them and show them I am in charge. Even though they're so much bigger and stronger than I am, they must think there's something wrong with me for doing that and they'll kind of like, back off. Thanks for watching.